Okay, guys, um, it's Ruin Jami. Welcome to my channel. And um, today, uh, I'm going to practice using all the technique that uh, I have um, learned recently and uh, try to. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, let me just uh, sit uh, up a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> sorry about that. And uh, uh, try to make uh, a uh, monkey. And um, so the Suzanne is working great. And uh, I think, uh, yeah, this is a kind of art style of the. Uh, I think is really interesting. Okay, so I'm going to draw a like a three D monkey, but uh, with a body. Okay, I was amazed why the student monkey does not have a body and um, why nobody is making this body. <laughs> so I'm not going to create a body, but also I like to create in uh, like a different art style just to experiment and practice a little bit. So what I'm going to do is to maybe just uh, delete everything. Okay, like the Susan, all that. Uh, maybe just to completely create a completely new project. Okay, so let's just maybe just save it and create a new Blender project. Yeah, okay. And uh, I'm thinking of um, like creating just a general project and apply Grease Pencil because I think I already got the hand of a Grease Pencil, um, like a basic, not a completely get hand of a. It's uh, still just a few days. Uh, remember the series called 100 days, okay? So what I'm gonna do is to uh, delete the cube and shoot in there and uh, make a uh, uh, Suzanne monkey. And uh, what I'm gonna do is to maybe add, add in mode. Just to make Part of his body coming out. Just uh, make a neck. E extrude. Just to extrude down a little bit. Okay. And, um, and how to make a monkey, by the way? Uh, going to maybe that's too long the neck. Uh, let's grab a Z. Okay. And then maybe add a loop cut, just uh, so that I got more polygon to work with. And then maybe uh, okay, have a X axis mirror. Um, maybe Y axis mirror. So when I got one. Face extruded. You will have a okay. Uh, there's no extrusion at the left side. So yeah, maybe I'm going to sculpt that. I think that's the overkill. But uh, things I'm learning sculpting recently. So maybe I'm going to do just that. Okay, maybe just. Uh, you practice making a monkey. Okay, I need to turn on the mirror. So X axis. Okay, I need to switch on the X axis. Okay, and um, the monkey got a sort of body. I think I need to simulate. Yeah, I haven't done the scoping on this computer, I think. So I'm going to simulate the. Uh, like viewport editing. Which pencil text editor? Navigation, maybe? Thunder so walk. Fly. Navigation. Key map. Okay, where should I change? Uh, let me uh, search a bit. Okay, I think I got it. Um, it's input, uh, emulate numpad, and uh, I think I can also get some emulate alt. Okay, three mouse. Oh, key. Maybe alt. I think alt is uh, a thing that I'm familiar with. So, 
Yeah, let's, let's do that. Yeah, yeah, I can do I think I can do this rotation. Okay, that's works pretty good. Let's uh uh remesh, maybe not remesh like this. Um rather I think I will exit um maybe add the modifier like a subdivision surface modifier and uh, then shade the smooth. Okay, maybe apply that then to the sculpt mode so I can get the detail um, then maybe adding some of the neck area um, I think this is Sudan is like not realistic um, so I'm going to add a little bit like a comic style Sudan <laughs> uh, let me add some re reference picture so you can see yeah let me um, Get this Suzanne an interesting pose. Okay, so okay, I'm thinking of uh, just gently grab it, it out. Maybe this part need to be extruded. Out as well. Center. We'll grab a little bit more. And then the hand and body. Let's grab the body. Uh, right now, since I think it's already pretty high poly, um, so I can do some drastic changes. Okay, and make it um, like how many. That I have. Okay, maybe not remesh. Make it smaller a bit. So this will be served as the hand of the monkey and then the body. So maybe not making the body using sculpting. So let's remesh that. Um, it, it maybe, maybe just to add some cylinder. I think. Uh, things I'm not going to make a perfect um, model. I just want something to draw on. So I'm going to make a like a cheat a little bit. Um, and grab it, dead axis, just down, shrink it. Okay, I'm going to cheat a little bit. Maybe scale it down the y axis. Uh, yeah, like this, and grab it, y axis, like that. So I can draw on the surface. Okay, good. And. Um, I'm thinking of um, um, adding the lag as well. So maybe cylinder, just shrink it. Um, right here, grab it. Maybe this will be serve as a tail, something like that. Yeah, can I use this and uh, extrude this part? Okay, I'm going to make something interesting. So extrude and uh, gr maybe maybe grab. Can I grab? Okay, extrude. So extrude it here and then grab it uh, here and then extrude here. Grab it at here okay and then the lag part I'm going to just uh, okay I can't duplicate this so maybe just adding another cylinder and shrink it 
shift and Y. I think I just missed the screen cast key. Sorry about that. So shift and A, mesh cylinder, screw it down. Yeah, I think I got multiple cylinders. I just delete one. Scale not Y axis, so can get. Oh, uh, not, uh, not that axis. Sorry. Um, scale that, not that axis. Yeah, that's that's much better. And I think I got this one. And grab it down. And I can add a mirror modifier as well. Um, so don't you worry about that. But I just want to give it like interesting position of his lap. I don't want to just stand here. Maybe walk. I can move his leg a little bit, like a like a Zen master. Okay, can I do something like this? Maybe just uh, rotate a tiny bit. So I'm going to. Edit mode and uh, rotation. Just the outward a bit, and then maybe upward a bit. Maybe even more. And then rotate outward a little bit. Okay. So front view. All right, and grab this whole thing left a bit so it should be the leg and I can add a mirror modifier later right now let's just uh, focus on extruding out and then grab it to maybe here so maybe I should do the extrusion and then a rotation maybe Okay, maybe not something like that. Um, let me think of this. Maybe I just scale this up a little bit. Okay, I'm, I'm just uh, this is a this is a bad practice, but I kind of like cheating here because uh, this is not the thing that I want. Uh, but it's just uh, like a temporary thing. Okay, and then once I finish this, I just add a mirror modifier, but the axis. Um, yeah, it should. Yeah, I should apply the changes. So sorry about that. Uh, just to delete the mirror modifier and exit and apply. Uh, apply all transformation. Okay. Set origin, geometry to origin, origin to geometry, uh, origin to 3D cursor, okay, origin to 3D cursor, and that's a mirror modifier, okay, so we can get something like this, and um, we can also add cylinder not y axis, uh, not z axis, sorry wrong shortcut so scale that first and not that axis make it fairly small rotates um, y axis 19 degree okay grab here yeah. I guess it would be like a Zen Susan grab y axis here all right, and then I can just add a mirror modifier. So maybe scale that X axis, just make it longer like this. Uh, the overlap doesn't really matter. Um, okay, I'm going to cheat a little bit by just to grab it to the center of here. And then I just uh, scale it, okay? So this can save me a little bit of time. 
Maybe I'm going to... Yeah, maybe, maybe something like this. And then Shiv and uh, R. Yeah, but you need to go to the um, edit mode. Okay, just to add, apply, and then grab the uh, here. Maybe grab it down a bit. Yeah, I need to make it transparent. So X ray, I can choose every thing. So I can do something like this and do something like this. Okay, so there'll be a like a Zenling Sudan. Okay, maybe not too long. Okay. So definitely, uh, definitely is not the best model ever. Uh, but uh, hey, we got the Zenling Sudan, and um, so there will be our base. And uh, then we can uh, add in a grease pencil to actually um, uh, like apply this to our Sudan. Um, maybe start from scratch. So just uh, we can practice a little bit more. Okay. And this grease pencil will have black. And um, I'm going to change that to draw mode and N. So get the tool out. I'm drawing material right now and in server region I'm going to draw on the surface offset just to open a one make it fairly small and see yeah we can draw on this was that maybe color change that to really black color and brushes um, feel um, maybe using a like ink pen and uh, make it fairly black Okay, that's good. We can draw on the Suzanne. And uh, let's practice this. So I'm thinking of a, a art style that's um, kind of a, have a comic style. So yeah, let me try this. Okay, uh, so maybe just use this. Um, let me use the reference image of a comic monkey okay so uh, let's try to do this we got draw mode and let's first front view right? let's first go to the front view and uh, try a um, first is the eye right? I think maybe I need to make the brush bigger a little bit and I should have like feel the content inside uh, but right now let's just uh, focus on the outline and the mouse I think is uh, like a ooh, like that but I want to make it like a peaceful um, peaceful to then really really peaceful and I'm uh, drawing on the surface remember here so I don't need to worry about uh, where should this line go because everything is on the surface there go I will get just really rough out the line And uh, things is going to be a sketch upon the uh, to, so it won't actually matter about the original model as long as you got the like the basic shape ready. I think this is uh, in 3D, so we have to add more lines in 3D just to, uh, yeah. And of course, if we got some weird line, we should delete this, okay? This shouldn't 
go and be here this line. Let me just erase all that. But maybe I erase too much. Just this line. This line. Um, maybe this line as well. So we don't want only to connect to some weird places. Okay, I think this line is a little bit weird. So I might as well just delete it. Okay, and uh, we got the front of the Suzanne and the neck is weird. So I'm going to join that like this. Just add some line so um, other people know that this is in 3D not a 2D view, so just add some here okay hopefully nothing weird um, like no weird line will appear just add a little bit here so the Sudan will have a like the chest area I'm going to raise everything in between. The chest area should be line three. The line will not only represent the outline but also represent the volume. And that's what I learned recently. So the line will represent not only the light and shadow but also the volume part. Feet parts, maybe adding some of the mud area that I won't touch. This line is a little bit weird, and I think that's because I sort of connect to the um, to the to the uh, tail part. So to erase this line okay and then the back we quickly add some of the stroke and the detail no strange line that's good and then the hand parts just add a few lines to represent there is a shape and there is a volume inside that exists but only a few sketches should be able to do the work moving down that should do um, things the like the column that I did earlier, and maybe not too much. I think it's connect too much. Uh, I'm gonna add a little bit of curve. It won't get too weird. And don't do the overlap, I think, because if you do overlap, it might just uh, make some mistake of connecting the dots that you didn't want to connect. Okay, just a few sketches. So I think this uh, I serve like a really unique style. And front, we're missing the end part. And maybe I'm going to draw some, like just uh, calculate something. Okay, like uh, she's um, entering a Zen mode like a master Suzanne is uh, meditating so the Suzanne's eye may not be like this rather is closed so the Suzanne is thinking okay 
Maybe downwards. Just show he's a master. And he's meditating. You lay some part maybe. Make sure that uh, got a feeling that's with them. He's uh, meditating. Yeah. That's more like it. And what I'm gonna do is to just hide all the cylinder and sit with that. The Suzanne definitely need to hide. Okay, I got a like 3D Suzanne. And you can add a little bit of contrast by using the um, I think I need to get the whole walls color. Maybe, maybe just to change. Okay, render with a new background color. Okay, we can make it up a little bit. Let's add, exit the draw mode. You need edit mode as well. Oh, so here comes the problem. Um, so if I draw backwards, um, so draw at the back, you won't be able to see the. Uh, you will be able to see what's been drawn on the back, and uh, it's a little bit weird. Okay, so yeah, I know. So I can fix that by unhide all this and erase was being at the back so yeah that's the thing that I learned it's a valuable lesson that I learned so you can actually see through it you want the outline but you don't want too much of the line or you might have to, yeah sorry about that I'm really sorry I just uh, get some part of my uh, but yeah yeah but um, I got and yeah, maybe because I got uh, like an X-ray switch on, so if I get uh, it toggle off, huh? Strange. If I even though I got it toggle off, I still erase some part of this. So yeah, that's a little bit weird. So maybe, maybe I'm not going to hide this. So if I'm not going to hide this, still, yeah, it will stick to the surface. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Okay, and maybe I'm going to do this another way by changing the material. Okay, I think that, that that's the way to go because if I hide the um, I hide the object, the um, the grease pencil will overlap, and uh, that's not what I want. So yeah, let's try this. So we haven't set the material yet, so let's set a certain material for Sudan. We can add a new material. Um, and uh, I'm not thinking about like a fur or something because there's no way I'm going to separate and so I just maybe make it a different color maybe that should do that's too much I just go down a bit okay Okay, maybe I'm going to select this material for now and uh, then batch change it to see the uh, result. Okay, and I think I got a body as well. Okay, so maybe I'm going to make it high poly rather than this whole po uh, low poly because I, uh, I can see they got some like a weird part here okay so here yeah I got a problem I don't know how to solve so I got this but this part is a little bit weird maybe I can smooth this can I just go to sculpt mode and smooth all this part alt and A to select this uh, maybe alt Q oh sorry uh, no, let's just cancel that. Let's just do Q. Alt and A will give you this. 
maybe alt Q. Okay, alt Q. Yeah, this part. So maybe I'm going to just make it smooth. Maybe. Just make it smooth. Okay, and alt Q. And maybe add some clay brush. Okay, maybe too much. Let's just draw the clay and uh, push that into the uh, to the place where I just draw the line, so it won't get too weird. Uh, that's better. And then I am going to like cover this part using the, uh, the draw mode. So you got to choose the grease pencil, switch that to draw mode, and add some part of the drawing. So it will cover. Okay, I think I can make do by cover the connecting area. So that's a that is that's a cheeky way of doing things. So yeah, really cheeky way of doing things. So this part has obviously got some giveaway of how this is made. I'm just going to cover that with the line. Okay, cheeky, but I think a smart way of doing things uh, in a very short time. Okay, yeah, uh, I think that looks good. Okay, go to the render mode and check this out. Okay, that's that. Uh, this looks really interesting I haven't seen this feeling uh, this kind of style before so oh, this looks pretty good we got a zenning Suzanne okay I think I add some um, file in my other project like the um, like the mage like I turn the uh, like witch holding a fire I might as, as well just add that here. Uh, let, let's see the result. So I done another thing cheeky, uh, uh, which is uh, I append the uh, like a lot of thing from my other project into here. And I think I, I got another Sudan. I don't know what why I got another Sudan, but it doesn't really matter. I got a lot of books. What is this? This is Sudan. Oh, this magic. Okay, so this will be served as a uh, sort of a, like a magic, um, like fireflies or sort of thing. Uh, I don't want to uh, show on this uh, here, so maybe just to get rid of this. But this fire effect, I think it's really, really important to have all this fire effect. So I'm going to select, maybe select everything for fire. Uh, magic, uh, let's just ignore this for now. Okay, just uh, get all the file, grab it on the hand here. Okay, uh, I don't know whether this will work or not, but uh, I want to play things around a bit. Okay, can I make it like okay? I can get this fire working, that's brilliant. And uh, I think I also got this storybook. Yeah, okay, so I got storybook and song. I got the song here. Uh, doesn't really matter. I just want to quickly test the theory. Okay, maybe this uh, this can work. I got a good feeling about this. Yeah, there's uh, like a magic book. Good. And I don't know why this line got connected. Uh, let's just erase this. It's kind of irritating. So draw mode. Hopefully it won't erase more line. I want you. Okay. I don't want to like ruin the whole thing. Yeah, we can actually ruin the whole thing. So uh, maybe not worry about that for now. Okay, let's worry about the effect. 
So can I make this to yeah I can make this to actually working. What about render mode? Okay. I can actually go cycle maybe EV. Okay, I can get this to work in EV. Cycle will like render this, but uh, you will have much more hard time in rendering this. So what I'm gonna do is to maybe make it like scale that a bit. Okay, so grab that Z axis, just make it here. And the whole collection of book, can I just simply scale that? I know this might be some, you know, proportion problem. Yeah, I can do that, so. Yeah, good, good, that's much better. And the whole world, uh, maybe just make it like this color. Yep. And then I'm going to add a line. I think I already got a song here. So can I just grab a song? Just a uh, front. Okay, we got um song of the front. And okay, I got the light. There's a point of light or sound. Okay, maybe make it a song. That's definitely not too good. Spotlight, maybe make it sound. Grab it up, rotate it a bit. And strength, maybe too little right now. Okay, can I do something like this? Yeah, I can do that. That's good, that's good. That's good, I can make a actual Suzanne. And I can uh, say make animation of the whole Suzanne and like this floating in there, something like that. Yeah, this looks pretty good. And let's just use the, the EV for now. And the song, I'm gonna play this by. Uh, okay, make it 20 to, just to see the result. Maybe too much. Uh, maybe make it 5. And this definitely shine too much. I think this is a magic book, so it doesn't really matter. Okay. Uh, that's, that's, this is a really interesting style. I've. Uh, I haven't been able to try this style, uh, but uh, hey, right now I can do this. So it's, a, it's a really interesting, it's a really interesting result. So yeah, I think uh, I'm pretty confident as I move deeper into Grease Pencil and create so much more interesting stuff. Um, so this is just a, like a quick experiment. And uh, I know you got some of the error here. Um, so you have to like, uh, uh, view that in a certain angle in order for for this effect to work but uh, yeah I'm pretty satisfied I, I'm easily satisfied uh, because I know the artist work is never done so you have to constantly improve and um, I love the experiment a little bit and and, and um, I think the essence of the experiment is that do not f like fear that your work may not be great um, so just uh, you know you kind of have to have the real rough and thin skin just to, you know just push forward you will get better and yeah, that's the thing that I said to me and said to the all this um, like aspiring artist or, or learner or whatever whoever is watching my video uh, just to move forward keep doing things okay and uh, yeah I think that will be all for this video um, just a really fun project that I've been playing around and it's a really relaxing experience. Uh, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give the video a thumbs up. And if you're rich, please support me by becoming a patron. And join Discord and let's just hang out on my live video. Okay? Thank you.